Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of anesthesia. Whether you're curious about how it works or preparing for a procedure yourself, this video will break it all down for you. Let's get started. Anesthesia is a medical marvel that allows doctors to perform surgeries without causing pain and distress to the patient. But how exactly does it work? Well, anesthesia works by disrupting the normal function of the nervous system to prevent pain, sensation and consciousness during surgical procedures. There are several types of anesthesia, each working in slightly different ways. Let's start with general anesthesia. General anesthesia induces a reversible loss of consciousness. It's often used for major surgeries. When you receive general anesthesia, anesthetic drugs are delivered either through an IV or as a gas you breathe in. These anesthetics, such as sevoflurane and nitrous oxide, affect neurotransmitter activity in the brain. They primarily act on GABA receptors, which inhibit nerve signal transmission. This leads to a loss of awareness and sensation, making you unconscious and unable to feel pain. Next, we have regional anesthesia. This type blocks pain in a specific area of the body. It's commonly used during childbirth or surgeries involving the lower body. Anesthetics are injected near nerves to interrupt pain signals to the brain. Drugs like bupivacaine or lidocaine block sodium channels in nerve cells, preventing the transmission of nerve impulses. This means the targeted area becomes numb and pain-free. Then there's local anesthesia, which numbs a small specific area of the body. Local anesthesia is often used for minor procedures, such as dental work or skin surgeries. Like regional anesthesia, local anesthetics block sodium channels in nerves, stopping pain signals from reaching the brain. Common local anesthetics include lidocaine and novocaine. Finally, we have sedation. This provides relaxation and reduces anxiety and awareness without inducing full unconsciousness. Sedative drugs like midazolam or propofol act on the central nervous system, often targeting GABA receptors to produce calming effects. Sedation is commonly used for minor procedures or diagnostic tests where full anesthesia isn't necessary. In all cases, the goal of anesthesia is to ensure patient comfort and safety during surgical procedures by preventing pain and distress. The specific drugs and methods used depend on the type of surgery, the patient's health, and the desired depth of anesthesia. Anesthesia has come a long way and continues to evolve, making surgeries safer and more comfortable for patients around the world. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more medical insights. See you next time.